understanding how your screen reader relates to the PC cursor. Okay, welcome again to another lesson from the blindaccessibilitytips.com website. Remember that you can always check the website for these lessons and please feel free to share them to those persons who will need the assistance, right? Okay, so today we're going to be looking at what our screen reader tries to tell us as it relates to the PC cursor. So yes, when you are navigating on say the desktop it is fairly simple you tab or you use your arrow keys and whatever the cursor lands on the screen reader will let you know right however as it relates to a word processor like microsoft word it becomes a little bit more complicated because you want to understand exactly how the cursor moves through and when the screen reader says b what does that mean? Is the cursor in front, behind, you know, the letter B? Exactly what does your screen reader mean? That's what we're going to look at today. All right, let us jump right in. So I am already in Microsoft Word. Let me type the word, say, blind. B-L-I-N-D. Just going to press my home key to get in front. B. Not going to focus too much right now on which keys move the cursor you know on what level that will be another lesson we're just going to focus right now on what the screen reader is trying, is trying to tell us every time the cursor does move okay so i heard it just said b which means every time you hear the, the screen reader says b it means that the cursor which of course is a little blinking line that comes up if you have a little vision you'll be able to see that it blinks and wherever that blinking cursor is it is the site of insertion right wherever the cursor is then you can take certain actions so it just told me b that means that the cursor is to the left of the letter b or is in front of the letter b right so i'm now gonna press my right arrow l it says l so now it means that the cursor is to the left of the letter L or in front of letter L. Or you can also say it is between the two letters B and L, right? So whenever your screen reader, in this case NVDA, tells you a letter in Microsoft Word when you move the cursor, it means that the cursor is to the left of that letter, all right? Okay, let us now look at insertion. As I did say before, the cursor is the site of insertion, right? Which means that anywhere the cursor is, if you are to press a letter or another character punctuation mark, it would be inserted exactly there, right? So let me continue through my letters in blind with my right arrow. I. It says I. N. N. Okay, let's stop here. It says N, which means what? It means that, of course, the cursor is now to the left of the letter N or between the letters I and N. All right, so if we were to press the letter T right here, what would happen now? Well, let us see. I'm going to press the letter T. T. Okay, the T should go between the I and the N, right? Well, let us see. I'm going to press home to go back in front of B just to start over again from the front to check the word. Spelling error, B. It now says spelling error because now the word blind has been incorrectly spelled because the letter T was put in there accidentally. Well, accidentally for us. All right. So I'm going back through the letters with my right arrow. L. I. T. N. See that? The T was indeed inserted inside or in between, sorry, the letters I and N. All right? All right, but don't worry too much now about the fact that you just made a mistake in the word blind because, of course, the backspace and delete keys can help us to edit and correct mistakes in our documents inside Microsoft Word, right? Let us first look at the backspace key. 
the backspace key takes out any letter or character that is to the left of the cursor. So the backspace key works backwards, which makes sense, right? Right now, where are we? Let me press my right arrow. D. Okay, it says D. Let me go back left. N. Now it says N, which means that it is between the letters T and N. So if I were to press the backspace right now, it should take out the T. Gonna press my backspace. T. And there it goes. The T disappears. All right? Okay, also want to point out that upon pressing the backspace key, yes, these Microsoft Word does take out the letter that is to the left of the cursor. But I also want you to realize that your screen reader announces it to you, announces the letter that was removed for you. So in our, our case, we had just heard T because T was removed. All right. Now, let us look at the delete key. The delete key works opposite to the backspace key, right? So whereas the backspace key removes characters to the left of the cursor, the delete key removes characters in front or to the right of the cursor. And whereas the backspace key, when pressed, your screen reader announces the letter that was removed, when you press the delete key, your screen reader announces the letter that comes up, right? Not the letter that has, has been removed, but the letter that then replaces the letter that was removed. All right, so let us, let us look at this same example. I have put back the T inside of the word blind. It is between the I and the N still, let us see. Pressing left, T, T, I, and it says I going right, T. N. and n which shows us that we have i t n there right right now it says n which means that i am between the letters t and n no if i were to press delete now what would happen it would actually take out the letter n because right now the letter n is to the right of the cursor is in front of the cursor but I don't want to remove N. I want to take on the T. The T is the mistake. So I'm going to go back left. T. It says T now, which means that it is in front of the T, right? Or let us be more specific. Right now, when it says T, it means several things. It is between the letters I and T or the T is to the right of the cursor, which also means the same as the cursor is to the left of the T, right? The point is T right now is on the right-hand side of the cursor. So if you are to press delete right now, it would take out that letter, but, it, but your screen reader will not announce the T, right? Let us try. I'm going to press my delete. Out of spelling error. N. What did it say? N. Well, first thing it told us, it said out of spelling error. That is just words or Microsoft Word's way of letting us know that by virtue of us pressing the delete key, our mistake was corrected, right? But then immediately after saying spelling error um, gone, it announced the letter N. That's because the T disappeared. The, the, the delete key took out the T and then the N took its position, all right? So you can keep practicing this to understand the difference between the backspace key and the delete key. It will help you to edit your documents. Whenever you type in Microsoft Word and you make mistakes, when you go back through your documents and you find the mistake, you can either use the backspace key to remove character by character and the delete key to do the same. But just remember that they work in opposite to each other. The backspace key removes characters to the left of the cursor and your screen reader announces 
the error that was taken out whilst the delete key removes whatever is to the right of the cursor and your screen reader announces it to you in terms of the letter that comes up in place of the deleted one okay all right so that is it for another lesson on the blind accessibility tips channel please remember that you can always go to blindaccessibilitytips.com for lessons or tutorials which help blind persons learn how to use different devices right now we are focusing on the computer right please visit blindaccessibilitytips.com for this specific lesson you can find the link for the specific lesson on the website in the description below this video so you can go and find it all right please feel free to share the videos with other persons who will need it and come back here anytime to listen again please look out for other videos all right <music>